Hello, my name is Joe Doyle and you are very welcome to another demo video for Resolve, the only automation solution you'll ever need. And today we're going to be talking about automating field engineering or field services activities. Now remember at Resolve we're always thinking about how we can do more to help our customers progress quickly and effectively along their automation journey. And with that in mind we're going to discuss what happens when we need to escalate to field engineering. So essentially when we reach the point in a diagnostic or a resolution procedure when there's essentially nothing more we can do and someone needs to jump in a van, drive to a site and physically fix the problem. Now of course we can't automate the physical activities of the engineer however while I may have said there's nothing more we can do resolve of course there's lots more we can do. If you think of a, a typical field dispatch scenario just the act of creating the dispatch ticket itself can be cumbersome and error prone uh, when we try to do it manually. It can also result potentially in lots and lots of unnecessary dispatch tickets being created and, un and henceforth unnecessary truck rolls. There is an over-reliance from a field engineering perspective on knock agents just to perform basic tasks and time and effort is wasted both by field engineering and knock personnel. Um, in this back and forth between the two in order to perform those activities. So to solve this problem, the obvious thing to do is to send Resolve along for the ride with the engineer and deliver automation in the palm of their hand. And as you may have guessed, that's exactly what we've done. So what does that look like? Well, here's exactly what it looks like. So imagine I'm the engineer and here's my mobile device and on here I have Resolve delivering what essentially boils down to a menu of automations that I can select from in order to complete my activity without the need to call the knock and have them perform those activities on my behalf. So right off the bat what action or test would I like to perform? Well let's register that this work or activity is going to begin. So Resolve is going to do that on my behalf um, and update the dispatch ticket or the change record um, that I'm now beginning the work on site. Now on the left hand side you can see I have a menu of automation um, that I can pick and choose from in order to perform the activities that I need to complete. All the while of course Resolve is going to update me in the resolution dashboard that you can see on my mobile device with the results of each individual step that it performs on my behalf. So I've registered that I'm beginning my activity now maybe I want to perform a port loopback test for example. All I need to do is select port loopback from the menu on the left hand side and Resolve will pre present to me this interactive dashboard to allow me to interact with the automated processes that we've defined in Resolve. So Resolve is going to reach out into my technology environment, out to all of my systems or applications that I need to interact with and automate all of the steps that I need to perform but in, in, in an interactive way and presenting all of the outputs and, and results back to me on my mobile device in the resolution dashboard. So as you can see as part of my port loopback test the first step may be to understand what shelf slot and ports are available in the device that I'm working on. Again all I need to do is select my device. Resolve will tell me that the available ports will now be retrieved and once complete all I need to do is select a port to test. We click OK and Resolve is going to go and perform that activity for me. It will of course present all of the information I need directly here on my mobile device in the dashboard. So there we go. Resolve is connected to this element. Resolve has executed a command or a query against that network element. It has retrieved all of the shelf, slot and port information I need. Now all I need to do is select the specific port I want to test against that will automatically be populated in the field above and again I can just simply use the interactive controls to execute that test. I don't need to do anything else. Resolve is going to execute all of the steps involved in that test on my behalf. I do not need to call the knock and ask them to perform this test on my behalf and to, and to call out the results over the phone. I'll have them up front and center on my mobile device powered by Resolve. You can see the automation running through. It's enabled the port loopback test. Now it's checking to see that we do have packet throughput over time. And indeed you can see that packet throughput is increasing. 
our test is completed and I have all the information I need with that status output on the right hand side to tell me that everything worked and everything's a-okay. Again on the left hand side I have that menu of automation and I can now pick and choose whatever I need to perform next. In the case of this demo I'm just going to register the end of my activity. I'm happy I've completed my on-site work. I'm now going to have resolve update the ticket on my behalf to say that I'm finished. Again, interactive automation, interact with the automated process, automation on an ad hoc basis at the click of a button, have Resolve do that for me. Present the output to me in the dashboard, and that's all I need to do. And that's it. Expanding the reach of automation with Resolve can be as easy as that. So, thanks for watching this video. Please do check out our other videos to learn more about the different ways Resolve can deliver value quickly for you and for your organization. Thank you.